Well, look, I don't care if the price of handmaidens has gone up. Uh, it's in my contract. I expect it, okay? I expect it. All right? To do my job, I expect it. You understand the word? Expect. Fucking bastards. Oh, fuck. All right, hey, welcome. It's the good news. Uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to say that yet. I'm supposed to say, hey, it's uh, September 13th, and this is the good news. Special, I'm kind of depressed edition. Yeah, it's happened again. I know I've done a special, I'm kind of depressed edition before, but I'm depressed again. Uh, so, you know, this is hard work. Showing up, giving a shit, you know. I don't really have to give a shit, but, you know, network policy that the give a shit is their impression that there's a give a shit so anyway on to the good news which is really boring and stupid the news sucks lately there really should be a law against this kind of news so anyway hurricane ike big story big hurricane thing wind rain all kinds of stuff so we apparently have somebody on location on location guy so let's Let's go to the videotape of On Location Guy. Okay, this is uh, On Location Guy. I'm, I'm here about, uh, I don't know, 1,500 miles from Hurricane Ike. Uh, you know, uh, so far we're not feeling too many of the effects. Uh, I, have, I have my handheld uh, Om Omni Women window barometer. And as you can see, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty still here. So, uh, you know... We were expecting more from Hurricane Ike than this. Uh, you can still hear the crickets and stuff here. So the crickets haven't done the uh, you know animal thing, you know where the animals usually just run away and stuff because they're afraid of the the hurricane coming. So I haven't see, seen any of that. There's been no like stampedes of wilbur beasts or anything coming by. So uh, so far the animals seem pretty pretty calm, even even though we're you know just 1,500 miles from the from the eye of the storm. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, but any second now, I'm sure, you know, the wind will pick up and this will go like this, and, and then maybe even it'll, it'll blow like even flat like that, and stuff like that will happen. And, uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm feeling a little unsteady on my feet now already, and we were, <clears throat> you know, haven't even gotten, I mean, the eye wall is not even really very close, but I can, I can feel the uh, unsteadiness, <clears throat> just the, the the, the sheer power of the storm coming, um, the threat of that, and uh, I, there, there appears to be um, some moths flying around, but they're, they're probably just warning moths, like hurricane moths, you hear about those here or there, and uh, you know, that can be a problem. A uh, bigger, bigger problem with you know, the sh shadow from the camera is in, in my face, and, and that kind of you know, distorts the live shot of the hurricane. So, um, that's about it, uh, so, reporting live, like, I don't know, 15, maybe 2,000 miles, a long way away, um, well, no, it's a short way away, we don't want to imply that the storm isn't, um, intimate and, you know, troublesome for us, because it's a live shot, and we have to make it interesting, so, well, I can, like, sense the storm coming, any, any minute now, it'll, it'll be here, and things will be, you know, like this. And very exciting. So, to, uh, to till to my next report when it's maybe just like 1,200 miles away or something. Uh, this is uh, on location guy. Yeah, wasn't that just the pits? I mean, that was just so bad. <laughs> Jeez, I wasted perfectly good good news time for that. All right, in other news, more important news. All right, it's not more important. Um, yeah, well, this whole uh, White House thing, you know, the president getting elected soon and all that crap. The polls indicating McCain now has a little bit of a lead, so we're just completely fucked. It's just the beginning of the end. I don't know what to think. It's just so, so depressing that people can't get this, and apparently it's the white voters that can't get it. Uh, you know, they're, they're doing their little racial thing, the middle-class whites. Oh, my God, the black guy's going to be president. Can't have that. And it's just really disappointing. So anyway, moving on. It's just, uh, uh, I guess I can't even, I can't even, I can't even contemplate the prospect of McCain being president. Just, it's un, just no, no. But I couldn't contemplate Bush second term, and I survived it. 
except there was a quite a few depressed editions of the news and <laughs> you know more depression on the way unfortunately uh, Alaska Alaska's going to subpoena the uh, apparently has subpoenaed the uh, the husband Todd of that uh, nutty McCain vice president Palin nut the woman <laughs> you know to you know testify regarding their investigation of the governor using her influence to fuck with things um, yeah it's just the whole thing is just so obvious what went on and uh, you know it's just this whole thing yeah the, these these rulers who think uh, yeah well one set of laws applies to you peasants another set applies to me so if somebody's fucking with my family I can use special laws to protect my family fuck you you have to use the regular laws <laughs> you know fuck these people it's just disgusting but his name Todd I really I never liked the name Todd I knew one kid in high school named Todd he irritated the shit out of me terrible nerd tried to reform his nerdiness and he just would not have it would not allow himself to be denertified and just really pissed me off but uh, you know it's forever stuck in my head so uh, no 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 offense to the Todds out there but it's just it's a, it's a loser name it's a name just it just dooms you uh, but all names really suck. News reader guy is a kind of a shitty name too. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on. Martha Stewart. This was in the fucking news. I gotta give a shit about Martha Stewart and she's doing a new show from her palace in wherever, Virginia or something. I don't even know where. Pal, Connecticut. I don't know. It's 30 miles from New York. Uh, fuck this bitch. You know. I mean, goddamn. I mean, it's just you know. Let's. Let's be pigs and wallow in our gluttony show. And people watch this crap. I mean, you know, just the money spent on this, 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 whatever. Uh, you know, they could have sent the money to fucking Haiti for people who don't even have a fucking house any fucking more. But no, we've got to have the matching tablecloths and the green chairs and my shirt has to match and everything has to match and we have to be all, all the grass has to be manicured perfectly and fuck this shit. Why do you, why, why, why do you do this? I mean, why do you idolize these fucking emperors? God, people are insane. All right, and a story, another story, shouldn't even be news. I mean, some nutty mom in some fucking state, you know, uh, <laughs> Texas, I think, <laughs> crazy place. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, she tried to be a, I don't know, she went back to high school and imitate, pretend to be her daughter and so she could be a cheerleader and graduate from high school and, you know. This is, this is a psychiatric sickness person, you know, this shouldn't be a news story. And, you know, they're talking, oh, well, this person doesn't have a lawyer and we couldn't reach the person for a contact. Well, what are you trying to contact a poor, insane, crazy person for? I mean, why don't you just leave people the fuck alone who are crazy? They really shouldn't be made news stories of. Damn bastards. God. Um, okay, diplomatic shit, if speaking of crazy. In South America, apparently uh, we're, we're playing the diplomatic war games now, and so everybody's like, you know, getting rid of their diplomats, like, and putting sanctions on them, and, you know, putting the, whatever, the mark of Satan on them, or whatever they can do to sit there and, you know, tit for tatting back and forth. And it's just so stupid. I mean, these are supposed to be fucking adults, and they can't control their rhetoric, and they can't control their behavior. Uh, it's, it's just so silly, you know. Oh, you took away our caviar lunches. We're going to take away your wine dinners. And, uh, that's just so silly. But speaking of silly, Pakistan, they're, they're, they're talking like they want out of our terror war because they don't like our tactics. You know, we just go in there and just, you know, blow up some houses and shit and, you know, bomb some things and whatever because we think Bin Laden sleep in there or something or Bin Laden slept there or something, but whatever. Uh, you know, and it just, it's, <clears throat> so anyway, we're, we're, yes, doing our diplomatic thing, the, the Bush strategy of fuck everybody on earth, and that way, um, we'll be loved and appreciated for our wonderful, um, helpful, um, interference in their lives. Uh, fuck. Uh, don't even know what the fuck this is. What the hell? Oh, another story shouldn't be in the news. Uh, yeah, you know, apparently some father in Florida chased uh, some 16-year-old kid around his yard and beat him with a pipe or something, you know, because he was naked in his daughter's room or something. And so that was the big story. It had nudity in it. Ooh, he chased the little naked boy around. <laughs> you know, just, goddamn, people are insane, you know, really. 
Like, that's gonna fix the problem. I think she's already been fucked, fella. So I guess it's game over. No point in chasing him around with a pipe. You can't undo the fucking with a beating him by a pipe. Dumb ass. Uh, Alright, Emmys. This was in the news, too. Fuck, I didn't read this shit. What the hell do I give a damn Emmys? It doesn't even have a fucking proper name. God damn, you know the best? Crap on TV is... <laughs> The crap show! <laughs> yeah! God, television sucks. <sighs> Alright, some tainted milk in China. Didn't read the story. Apparently they're, you know, putting like, you know, oh, let's just pour in whatever you got in those barrels over there because we don't got enough milk today. Well, I guess they say it with like a Chinese voice and little slanty eyes and shit. <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, money, money, money. <laughs> but it's not nice. Tainted milk is no good. China's a big place, though. You gotta expect that kind of crap. Just trying to be civilized now. You know, they're trying to get there. Okay, that's the news. Special depressed edition.